Hey guys, I got my hair up, my cat ears on, and I'm ready to put on makeup. I am going to be going on a look inspired by my dress, focusing on my eyes in this makeup look. Uh, I am going to do the face, but probably speed that up. It'll be a mixture of talk through and also voice over for the video. So if you want to stick around and see what I come up with, just keep watching. So first I am going to start with my Smashbox primer water, just spraying that all over my face as usual and just waving my hand to dry it. Next, I'm going in with the Benefit Professional and I'm just putting that all over my face. Just putting it in little dots all over my face. You've seen this in my other videos, but just for the sake of showing you, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and rub it in my face, as you can see, just rubbing it all over. And just um, going in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade um, N4. I forgot again what the shade name is. One day I'll get it. So I'm just putting that all the way through my face, blending it out with my foundation brush. This came from an Amazon set that I got for $10. If you just search up brush sets on Amazon, you should be able to find it. So again, just blending that in and taking a little dance break. I'm going with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Creamy Natural. It is just gonna go all over my face with my favorite powder brush from Claire's, as I mentioned in my previous video. Just blending that in and speeding it up for you. Going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Just putting in a typical triangle formation that you have seen me do a million times and probably a million times here on YouTube. So just doing that, speeding it up, dancing away. Going in with my concealer brush from the BH Cosmetics set. Just blending the concealer out and again speeding it up as I go through my second eye. And now I'm going in with my concealer brush from e.l.f. and also my Lori Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Just putting the product onto the lid to just distribute it amongst my eyes. Putting that powder underneath my eyes to set that concealer. And again, doing the same thing for the other eye. Just speeding it up, dancing, and having a good old time. Then I'm going in with my EOAS Lip Balm. Um, to hydrate my lips, going in with my NYX eyebrow pencil in the shade taupe, and that's where I mess up, and I'm putting them on. As you can see, just doing light strokes. I don't do anything really complicated, just strokes throughout the front, bring it into the back, and that's pretty much it. And so in a moment, you're going to see me set my brows with my Rimmel brow this way. There it is. I'm just setting the eyebrows making sure they stay locked in place. And this is me just singing, having a good old time and enjoy myself. So we're about to go in through the talk through portion of the video. So I guess it's both good and bad that I do my makeup pretty fast because my face is already done and I only had time to listen to two songs. I thought it was gonna be a little longer. I'm gonna be focusing on the Too Faced uh, Stardust palette by Vegas Nay. She is a famous Instagram blogger. This was limited edition. It was out like two years ago, I think in September. Um, so unfortunately you can't buy this anymore, but honestly it's really not all that special. I just, since I have it, why not use it? There's a lot of shades in here that you could probably find in your other palettes, so just look for similar shades. So I'm going to start by priming my eyes. Again, it's in the shade Skin Tone. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my eyes. Uh, just all over the lid, like I always do. If you don't have this, just use any eye primer you may have. If you don't have eye primer, you can just use concealers. I see a lot of girls do that. Use what you have. Don't feel like you have to buy everything. Just kind of look, observe, and, you know, try to do your best. I also try to show both eyes because I feel like, you know, if you didn't get it with the first eye, you'll have a second chance with the second eye. So now that I have um, covered my eyelids with the NYX Skin Tone Eyeshadow Base. I'm going to go ahead and set it with this shade right here. It's called Chandelier. It's just a cream shade. And if you can see that, that little itty bitty spot is called Pan. Um, which, it's lame, but I'm proud of it because of the fact that it took me forever to get to that. So, I don't know if you have any trouble trying to hit Pan on your palettes. But I have a lot of palettes. If you can see them, they're right there. Um, and unfortunately, not all of them have pants, so I've been really dedicated to trying to use things more often and up. My goal is to hit pan on at least one shadow in every eyeshadow palette that I have. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the shade 
right here it's called pink pearl I'm gonna mainly use that in um, the I guess you could say the inner third of the eye maybe inner half of the eye get a little closer um, and hopefully you can pick that up I mean I don't know how much pigment this has so it may not show up that well because it just truly it's not that pigmented so if you don't have this palette don't freak out because it's really not all that great so here we go and I'm just putting that on the second so eye super powdery as you can see but oh well we're gonna go with it I'm gonna go ahead and put the shade right here it's called millennial right here this shade right here is called millennial I'm gonna put that in my crease as a transition color so I'm putting that in my crease and let's see how much of a difference that makes we'll see so that's one eye and that's the other eye so you can see a little bit of dimension I mean I didn't do anything crazy for my eye but it did add some dimension so I'm not gonna knock it I'm putting that in the other eye just windshield wiper motions and adding it gradually it's better to add it in gradually than to go too heavy-handed all at once and you know kind of regret that far easier to add than to remove on the outer half of the eye I'm gonna be going in with this color here it's called follow me putting it on my large eyeshadow brush from Ulta and I, I really do like this shadow f or this brush for packing on so I'm putting that on the outer half of the lid shade. I'm being not super careful about where I place it. Uh, you know, on one hand, I should be a little careful because look at that. But, you know, we'll blend it out. We'll blend it out. And unfortunately, I am making that weird face that I hate making. But, you know, here, <laughs> that's what happens. I guess it's just kind of hard to not put on eyeshadow without opening your mouth. I don't know if anyone else has that problem but I guess it's like helps focus I don't know so I'm putting it on the other eye back in the crease with the shade millennial I mean I feel pretty good about this so far I'm gonna go ahead and pop in a highlight so i'm going to use the shade selfie here from the stardust palette to give us an inner corner highlight and i like to pack it on because i love i love a good bright inner corner highlight it really opens up your eye i'm going to put mascara on so you can see how the look is without um, eyeliner I'm gonna probably put on a wing liner and I'm just putting it on I'm trying so hard not to make the weird face um, so if you hear me not talking that is why but you know you can wait some girls like to wiggle their brush to get quote unquote more volume and I almost messed this up I almost messed up so let me just chill and focus let me get a little closer because I can't see that well It happens guys well, as you can see I'm not really great at mascara it's not really one of my fortes but you know we're gonna go with it we're gonna shake it up this is the Sephora waterproof uh, eye makeup remover so let's see how it does so not too much damage I'm gonna go in with the brush that we used for the inner half and put pink pearl a little bit more on this eyelid now that we have effectively removed it there it is um, I'm gonna add eyeliner to see how it goes I 
I feel like this is a pretty eye look, um, but I like drama, so I think I am going to go with the eyeliner after all. I'm going to go ahead and use the Tardis Tarte Liner. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this eyeliner, but, you know, since I do have it, I want to use it up. Um, some products are just not worth using up, but considering how much I have used up, I just kind of want to finish it and then be done with it. I'm going to also go in with this double-ended brush um, that I got from Claire's. It's an angled eyeliner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and line, and I'm going to just probably not talk for this because I just, I just can't. Okay, so it's not that bad. I thought it was going to be worse, but not that bad. I actually, now that it's done, I actually like it. Next, I'm going to go in with my blush. I'm just putting that on my cheeks. Sometimes I do accents, so if you catch me doing an accent, you know, just go with it. I think this is pretty good on the blush, though, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to try to be bold, guys. I usually don't wear pinks like this, but... I'm going to try it. I don't know. I don't think I like it. It's like when you're doing these videos, you forget everything. You forget how to do your own makeup. We're going to start again. I'm going to try a different lip option. This is the color Plum Rose by Milani. Do I love it? No, but I don't hate it. I'm going to put a gloss over it and see how that looks. So guys, this does complete the look. It didn't exactly turn out how I expected it to, but I really do happen to like it. You know, sometimes you have to learn to be adventurous with makeup, try new things. Um, you're never going to get better if you don't try to step outside of the box, if you don't try something new. You know, with makeup, you really just have to learn to be fearless and bold and sometimes it's going to work and sometimes it's not. You know, I just wanted to put this video up, even though I'm a little bit afraid that it doesn't look great to show that you just gotta try, you know. Fix your mistakes, you know. If you make a mistake, just fix it. There's plenty of ways to fix it. And, you know, you're wearing makeup for you. You're not wearing it for anybody else. So with that said, I also just wanna thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your likes, support, all those who've messaged me on other forms of social media and just reached out, asked questions, congratulated me in person, whatever it is you've shown support i just want to thank you um this is just a new endeavor that i'm taking so i hope you'll subscribe and join along thank you so much bye